Today we're in Jonesboro, Arkansas with Jeffrey and Julie Tubbs, who are one of our finalists for Arkansas Excellence in Ag. Um, guys, thanks for having us here. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah welcome. Of course. So um, tell me a little bit about yourselves. How, how did all of this get started? Um, what's your operation like? So we have been married for almost 10 years and right, I would say what, two weeks before we got married, um, the decision was made for him to no longer farm mm -hmm. um, as a full-time job. And um, it, was, it was definitely a, a scary moment, um, had a lot of faith in each other. Um, and so after a few years of marriage, obviously, you know, whenever you're raised in a farm family, that doesn't go away. It's, mm -hmm. it's a way of life that's always instilled in you. And so um, looking for ways to get back, you know, more involved. And so um, we started off um, getting, you know, starting a cattle business. We started off with like 16 cows and originally it was just going to have enough cows to graze this place and uh -huh. be involved in ag. We've taken that to about 60 head now. And if I'm not at work taking care of the crop insurance business, we're pretty much either messing with cows and have recently started doing a truck patch. Um, mm. what, are, what are your jobs outside of the farm that you have here? I'm a school counselor at Westside High School and I um, kind of, I counseled the, or counseled the eighth, ninth and 10th grade students mm -hmm. at the high school. Um, you know, one way that I am able to connect with my kiddos um, as far as the ag side of it is connecting them to jobs and um, different areas of ag business. And ag so I work for Rabo Agri Finance and in the crop insurance side of their business and uh, crop insurance was a neat fit for me because I'm still so involved with farms. I, I met your two sons earlier, but tell me, you know, how, how <laughs> tell me how old they are, tell me their names, tell me their their involvement, and, and kind of break down as a family, what do, what do you all do on the farm? What are your roles and responsibilities? Um, we do have two sons. Mm -hmm. um, we have Jet Ron, who uh -huh. is six, and then we have Jax, who is three. It's mm -hmm. never a dull moment, no. you know. Um, <laughs> we love the fact that we are able to raise them with that farming way of life. Um, they love being able to, to walk out with the cows and see them and see, see the cows being worked. We also have a cow dog. Um, he's a blue healer named yes. Scout. Yes, I um, met him too. Loved him. It's like our third son, more or less. And so, um, and so they're buddies. So the three of them are pretty tight. And so wherever the boys go, Scout goes. And having this garden that we go down to the farm where it's at and they're able to see it. They're able to see the, the, the vegetables growing and, and what it takes to, to get them growing. And, um, and so, yeah, we're, just, we're, we're very fortunate to have that opportunity to show our kids. Just going back to the way that I was raised, I'm fortunate now. I work in a corporate setting and I have a tremendous amount of friends there that I really care. But it seems like time and time again, you know, I'm the guy that, hey, can you help with this or can yeah. you help with this? And I'm like, I got all of this knowledge from being raised on the farm. Mm -hmm. And I and I want my kids to be able to take care of themselves. One, being able to produce their food, you know, know something about mechanic. I just know for me, that's what it means a lot for them to be able to take care of themselves going on. 